everyone welcome back to charmed intuition tarot so i'm back with your january 2021 predictions and today we have a lot of detail we got lots of cards but we also have a love deck we have the pendulum you could think of a yes or no question that you might want to ask about january we have the charms of course with the palm and the letters and numbers and the numbers are cool stick around for these because that's going to give you significant dates uh, in january so lots of info there so we have three piles here with three keys and the timestamps will be below, but why don't we take a nice deep breath? You can pick whichever group you feel most drawn to. Pause the video if you need more time. And yeah, the timestamps will be below. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that like button if you if you want, of course. That greatly helps my channel, so thank you. And just remember, these are general readings. They're not going to resonate for everyone, so have fun with it. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. I hope your January is amazing. Quick disclaimer, uh, if you see a scam message of someone pretending to be me in the comments, that's not me. Um, they're offering personal readings with an email. Please report that if you see it. And yeah, thank you so very much um, for your support. And I hope you enjoy today's reading. We'll start with number one. Hey, group one. So if you chose the first key, then this is your January 2021 prediction. So let's find out how your year is going to start. We've got love messages. We have charms and the pendulum. So you can think of a yes or no question. But let's get into it. Let's see what's happening in January. So your first card is surrender to divine timing. If I cough, I'll cut it out. We've got Justice. Ten of Cups. We've got Queen of Wands. Your self-care oracle is Use Your Hands. I am loved and supported by others. B is your animal energy for the month. Imagine. Conclusions are within reach, full moon eclipse. And your butterfly change card for the month is new exercise program. This came out recently actually in a weekly, so let me know if you chose that pile, that would be kind of cool. But I'll get to that first. Let's take a look here. You know what, I might get your love deck right away, just because I want to have the full picture for you, group one. So group one, love or relationships in January. Commitment. Okay, so that makes sense with the Ten of Cups as well. Just that. Okay. So group one, let's take a look here. Just give me one moment. I want to put this here. Okay, so you've got a nice variation here. There's a little bit of everything going on, which is positive. That's good. Like, it, it doesn't seem like it's focused on one thing in particular. It's kind of a little bit of everything, which is nice. So let's start with Justice then. So your first tarot card, Justice. So this can mean a few things. This could indicate you making up your mind about something or making a decision. But if you see, they have their eye peeking out there. So this symbolizes having all of the info and making the decision rationally so you have all the all the info that you need to make the decision confidently okay so it can be about weighing your options and having all of the facts this card can also show up sometimes when something is getting resolved and because it's typically a very positive karma card this would let you know that the outcome is going to be favorable you'll feel happy with the outcome or you're, or you're, you're gonna at least feel like it was made in a fair way Okay, so if this isn't you making a decision, and this could be about anything, career, this can sometimes even talk about, because you have commitment, because we got commitment, this could definitely talk about legal contracts, like marriage, things like that. So for some of you, you've, you maybe have recently gotten engaged, or maybe January it could happen, or maybe you're, you're just discussing this in January, in the beginning of the year, okay? So maybe that's something you're discussing with your partner or even on your own, making up your mind about certain things related to commitment, because we did get commitment, which I think is interesting because you also have the 10 of cups with commitment. So I'll read it in a moment. First, we'll talk about 10 of cups. So 10 of cups isn't always romantic. I always think of it, think of it as just feeling content in your relationships. So it can come up for family. So that makes sense with commitment too. So maybe you and your partner are perhaps deciding to start a family in January. If you're single, it could just mean that you are 
setting off in, at the beginning of the year, hoping that you'll find your person, the person you'll be committed to. Let's take a quick little uh, look at this. So you are attracting a lifelong commitment, a life partner or soul flame. This is the one you'll choose to spend this lifetime with. This may pertain to an engagement, a sacred union or a renewal of vows. So that makes sense with the legal aspect of the justice card. A current relationship could be propelled forward. So overall in January, whether you're single or not, you're feeling actually content or at least very hopeful about your connections. If you are in a relationship, this could just talk about a deeper connection with your person, a deeper commitment, marriage, engagement, things like that. So that's kind of, I really like that we got that. That's That makes sense. So then moving on to the queen of wands, we have, I love, my knee just cracked, did you hear that? Um, so the queen of wands is all about confidence. It's the first thing I think of creative too, because of wands, that's a lot about passion and things we're creative, things that we enjoy doing. I'm kind of picking up on something though, because you have used your hands and even with the commitment card, even though that's talking about relationship, I'm kind of feeling this and let me know if this is accurate, but I'm feeling this feeling like an entrepreneurial vibe. Uh, and this is also a really positive sign for any New Year's resolutions that you've been hoping to achieve in 2021. So I feel like right away, you know, January 1st hits and you're just like ready. You're, you've got goals, you've got plans, you've got ideas and all of these things that you want to accomplish in 2021 and you're ready to go. And because we've got a few clues here. The commitment card, even though it's talking about a relationship, also just makes me think of being committed to something, committed to our goals, committed to a job. So if this isn't talking about love necessarily for you, it could also talk about things that you care about personally, like self-love, things that you want to accomplish that are important to you. So use your hands, of course, has a creative undertone to it, but it doesn't have to be creative. Usually, I mean, it'll have a creative vibe to it, but even if you don't think of yourself as a creative person, you might surprise yourself. So this could be cra crafting, baking, cooking, sewing, building things, constructing things, all sorts of different options, painting. There's so many things you can do uh, to use your hands, even things maybe along the lines of like hair, hairstyling or makeup artistry. You know, maybe there's something that you don't realize you're really talented at that could pay off maybe even as a bit of a side something you could do on the side either for money or just for pure enjoyment in 2021 so it's kind of encouraging you to explore that find you know find what it is that you can do because everyone has a talent and even again like I mentioned if you don't think of yourself as creative you might surprise yourself so before we forget here let's go back to this new exercise program so this is just basically encouraging you to move your body. So this could be something as simple as stretching or it can go all the way to like full on sports. So whatever it is that you enjoy doing, I've never been a sport sporty person at all. Gym in school was my least favorite. I did not like it, um, but I love doing things like walking, hiking. I love hula hooping. I love rollerblading, things like that. So it doesn't have to be something you, the first thing you think of when you think of exercise, like it doesn't have to be going on the elliptical at the gym. It could be going for a walk. It could be yoga, Pilates. YouTube is just such an amazing resource, honestly, for anything. You can learn anything on YouTube now, uh, including there's lots of exercise things. Um, Chloe Ting is one I wanted to start, the Chloe Ting Challenge. Um, Lauren Geraldo's, um, she's a YouTuber, she's amazing. She's got uh, the, Oh, what do you call it? The the uh, twelve three thirty treadmill. Like, there's all sorts of different things you can do to exercise. That even if you don't consider yourself sporty necessarily, or even if you don't have a fitness goal, it's not even just about aesthetics. It's just about moving your body, feeling healthy, and it's a really good way to get rid of nervous energy too. I find exercise it's so funny. And tell me if you experience this. Like when I'm exercising or in a routine, I feel fantastic. And I always wonder, why do I even fall out of this routine? It makes us feel, but it literally improves the way we feel. Why do we fall out of it? It just, it happens. We can so easily fall out of routine. So that could just be encouraging you to start that routine in January, whatever, ex whatever exercise you enjoy personally. Okay, so we have, I am loved and supported by others. Okay, so this immediately jumped out to me because you have the 10 of cups and even the commitment card that we got. So this is just letting you know that people are cheering for you. People love you. 
we tend to focus on maybe the people that aren't cheering for us, the people, what do they think, you know, but there are people that are cheering for you. Even if you don't know it, I am cheering for you. I am cheering for you. And this is just letting you know that you're supported. There's support. Even if you don't know who they are, there's communities with, with anything that you want to accomplish. There's always a community. There's always a way to meet someone or, you know what I mean? Like it's just, it's just kind of letting you know that you have support. You have people that are cheering you on or that are available to do that. If you, if you don't know who that is, it could just be letting you know that in January, you might meet someone that offers support, your family even. So then we have the B. So I haven't used this deck in quite some time and I love it. Um, but B to me means hard work. I always think of teamwork. It reminds me of Three of Pentacles. I am gonna get the paper though because I wanna kind of re-get to know this deck. Um, I do wanna take a look here. I left the paper out so I could do that. Okay, B, B, B. Okay, so B. Fertility and sexuality, the sun, make your life fertile, whatever that means to you. Be joyful, find the honey in your life, focus on it, be productive. It's kind of, oh, be productive but balanced. Save your life and don't work too hard. So kind of encouraging you to make time for relaxation, family time maybe. Uh, B can help you accomplish everything you dream of doing. B energy is also that of hard worker. Call on the B when you're ready to say yes to a full, fertile life and all that it has to offer to you and you to it. Be mindful of your stinger. Choose your words and action with care. So as a kind of caution message, it's just encouraging you to be kind. Um, you know, if, take some time. If you're, if you're feeling angry or you feel like you want to react, take a step back, let it absorb, and then you might not feel as angry um just as a caution message but typically what that was just about was b we think of hard work but it, it was interesting what did that say about that talked about uh yeah fertility that's kind of interesting i wouldn't have thought that with b i wouldn't have thought of fertility but maybe that's you maybe with the ten of cups maybe that's what you're planning or maybe some of you can expect fertility babies something in january that's interesting Okay, so last two cards, you've got conclusions are within reach. So this is very simple. This really makes a lot of sense with justice, actually. So there's an answer. If this isn't even talking about what the justice card is talking about, it just means you could come up with a conclusion or an answer to something. I also think just the way this is illustrated, this always makes me think of being almost through the woods. So you might have one or two more little things to accomplish, but you're almost there. So you're kind of seeing the goal in sight. You have that, your vision, you, you've got that idea. So then lastly, we've got imagine. So this could definitely link with the creativity, but more so I'm just kind of getting a manifestation vibe here with this. So it kind of reminds me a little bit of the two of wands. So foresight, planning, you know, imagining all of the different things you can do. I'm kind of really getting the message for you, group one, that it's important for you to start the year with this feeling of confidence and hope. Hope is key here. And knowing that you have all sorts of like the full years ahead of you, you know, just do your best. That's, that's what you have to remember, do your best. There's always going to be obstacles. There's always going to be, I mean, look at this. There's always going to be obstacles or hurdles. I have to cough one second. But, um, but you can overcome them. Like that's what, I, and, and I like the message of support with people in your life. Like people are cheering for you. So let's just put these aside. Let's ask your pendulum the question before we go to the charms, just so I don't forget. So group one, so you can think of a yes or no question. This can be about work or relationships. Um, it's best to kind of keep the question light with the pendulum. So one, two, three. Oh. Okay, so you have a yes for your question in January. So let's check out your charms. So if you're still with me, thank you. <laughs> sticking with me for your reading. Okay, so this is where we're going to get lots of details. I did bring out the palm. Okay, so this is going to be the focal point of the month. Let's get you some dates. So January 3rd and 4th are highlighted. 2nd, 3rd, 4th. So that span of and then the 11th. So that could just mean that some of these things that we saw in the cards could happen on those days. You could start your new exercise regime, say on the on the second, third, or fourth, all sorts of different options. Okay. 
Okay, so sometimes these are initials, sometimes they spell words, sometimes the words don't necessarily even make sense. So keep that in mind, have fun with it. Okay, so we have, okay, so let me know what you see, but we have P-A-N, pan, cooking maybe, use your hands, cooking. Um, O-R-L-H-T-R-N-O. So I'm not seeing anything necessarily. So let me know what you see. Could be like, again, names, things like that. Hot pan cooking. I don't know, with the use your hands card, it really cooking is jumping out at me. So maybe some of you, maybe with the new exercise regime, might try do new recipes, things like that. But I'll let you guys work on those. Ooh, hotel. No, no, there's no E. I thought I saw hotel. I'm gonna say any. Anyways, I'll let you guys do those. Okay, group one. Wow, right away I already see. Oh, interesting that I saw hotel, we have travel here. But let's start here in the palm. So this is really cool because the 10 of cups, the B, it all makes me think of teamwork and that's what the soccer ball represents to me is teamwork, working well with others. Um, so it can also have to do with goals too. We have a heavy goal theme in your cards. So that's definitely showing up. So your goals and then working with others. You also have the locket here. So this to me represents, it can represent family, right? But it can also represent just secret admirers, things like that. So there could be a, something to do with a secret admirer, or just secret feelings. So look at how, what else you have. You have a lot here. You've got persistence okay, with the hammer, goal setting again with the arrow, moving ahead. You've got the key, which is a yes. The key you always think of is you have an answer to something. So that makes a lot of sense with the justice card as well. So let me just take a quick scan here and I'll let you know we've got time, star, gentle. Sometimes the words connect with the letters too. So this term is represents to me like small business creation, working on things using your hands because this was actually made by someone that I met on YouTube, handmade. So it can also represent friendship as well and support. So this is kind of a this makes a lot of sense with everything that we've gotten, but that handmade creation using your hands vibe is definitely coming up here. Okay, so we've got a couple messages about patience. We've got time, and then we've got the chrysalis charm. Oops, sorry guys, the chrysalis charm. So uh, definitely a feeling of being patient with yourself. And I think, I mean, that makes sense. I don't even know if I read this to you guys. So sometimes divine timing may differ than your from your ego's timing. If a goal isn't manifesting fast enough, according to your ego, be patient and trust the universal flow. So that's really what I'm seeing here is just trusting the way things are working out is, is how it's supposed to be. Things are just lining up the way that they're meant to. And you'll, you'll see that maybe later, sometimes when it's happening, we're thinking, okay, well, why did that have to happen that way? And then later on, it makes sense. I'm sure you can think of a situation where that happened. Okay, so wow, commitment. So we have the commitment card, we have 10 of cups, we have justice, which can sometimes talk about marriage contracts, and you also have the engagement ring. So some of you are either becoming more committed to someone doesn't even have to be marriage necessarily, or it could be marriage proposals, things like that, wedding planning, possibly making decisions about that in January. Let me know what resonates. Uh, support. So you got the hand. So support and that connects with your card about I am supported and loved by others. So I'm loved and supported by others. So you see that with the hand. So someone's definitely reaching out either a helping hand or wanting to help you accomplish something. You've got the thumbs up. I always think of that as just you're doing a good job. Keep going. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep pushing. The bobbin, similar to the Wheel of Fortune, can talk about positive change or something shifting, changing, an improvement in a relationship perhaps, uh, which makes sense with the commitment card. It also represents hard work behind the scenes because this is part of a sewing machine. You can't see what it's doing though. You can always see the thread on the top. So it always represents to me hard work that you've done behind the scenes. Okay, you've got the horse jumping over the horseshoe, jumping over hurdles, you've got perfume. There's definitely, even though we didn't get a lot about new romance, there's a bit of, um, 
because you've got the charm about someone hasn't forgotten you. You've got the perfume, which to me is about attraction to someone. And it can talk about like uh, memory because our, our scent is very tied to memory. So there's a lot about kind of memories from someone. And then because we have the locket secret crush, that could definitely be a message for some of you. So for those of you that are already in a relationship, it could just mean that you and your partner, your relationship improves. Um, if you're single though, something, somebody from your past might still be thinking about you. It doesn't mean you have to like them back. It doesn't mean anything has to come of it, but I'm just letting you know what they're saying. Now we've got Leo energy and Libra energy. Okay, that star gentle and a little bit. Of, okay, so just let me see here. We also have, I mean, we've got the stars. So we've got Aquarius and then we have death, death energy too. So that's Scorpio. Okay, so we've got Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, and Libra. So quite a few signs here. Let me know if that makes sense with you. But also, I mean, this is just change. This is new beginnings, right? So always remember that just represents transformation. You also have chrysalis too. So there's lots of transformations happening, personal transformations. And again, I'm getting this entrepreneurial vibe with you. I bet you you're I bet you've got really cool plans for, for the new year in general for 2021. Okay, so this reminds me of crafting as well, but it also reminds me of memories, carrying things with you. So let me know if that makes sense to you. And of course, some of these charms might have personal meaning to you. So you've got love here, which makes sense with Ten of Cups, feeling loved, feeling content in your relationships. Travel popped out to me because I thought I saw hotel even though we don't have the E. So maybe you're traveling in January and some of these things might be connected too. So let me know what resonates for you, group one. I'd love to hear it. But you're definitely very focused. You've got the arrow, you've got the key, you have the answer. And again, like we talked about with the justice card, you're getting an answer to something. Something's going to be a lot more clear by the end of January. So group one, I would love to hear if this resonated. If you enjoyed it, feel free to share this with a friend who you think might want to uh, hear about their January. I'd love to um, hear what they think as well. And we'll see you next time. Bye guys. Hey group two, so if you chose the second key, then this is your January 2021 prediction. So let's find out how your year is going to start. We've got lots of cards here. We've got the love uh, Oracle deck, love compass deck. We also have the charms, of course. We've got dates that are important in January and your pendulum. So stick around for that because you can think of a yes or no question to do with love or career for January. But first, let's look at what you have. So your first card is surrender the habit of people pleasing. You've got two of cups. Six of pentacles. Ace of wands. Not for you. Self-care, rabbit, read, I am already what I want to become one day, and nothing is yet set in stone. Okay, so I'm going to get you a love card right away. We do have the two of cups there. Similar to group one, you guys have a bit of a variation here of all sorts of different things. So I'm excited to see what we have and with your charms, especially. So group two, love and January. Okay, we had divine counterpart fall out. So okay, so this is talking about connecting with somebody, even if you don't know who they are yet, you're connecting with them possibly spiritually. It says, this is a coming together with a mere soul to achieve something on an energetic level. That makes a lot of sense with the Two of Cups, so we'll leave that there. Okay, group two, let's see what January is going to be like. I hope your December is or was good. Okay. Okay. So because in group one, I almost forgot to talk about their surrender card, I'll start with this. So surrender the habit of people pleasing. So this just talks about in January, it will be good for you to kind of focus on, it doesn't mean not doing nice things for people or not being kind to other people, but this is just, there's a difference between being kind and then people pleasing at the expense of your own comfort or the expense of what's important to you. So let's just read. 
It says, speak your needs and be true to yourself. Focus on your own happiness instead of always trying to make everyone else happy. So we can definitely fall into that um, very easily. I know I've done that. Um, so it's saying yes to things that you don't want to say yes to, like events or things like that, um, or just constantly wanting or seeking approval or wanting people to be happy. Um, so what this is talking about is in January, and this makes sense with just January and the whole, the whole energy of New Year's resolution. So it is just wanting you to focus on yourself, okay? And again, it doesn't mean you're not focusing on people that you care about or doing your, um, you know, taking care of your responsibilities, but it is just making a point to let you know that it's okay to focus on your happiness, put your goals first, or do what you need to do for your own health or your own happiness. Um, making time for your goals, if that means saying no to something with friends, but it's important for you to do, then doing that, like that kind of thing. So just as an example. So that's a good way to start your January, I would say. So let's uh, move on to tarot here. So two of cups. So this definitely has a romantic vibe to it a lot of the time, but really overall it's a partnership card. So that means in January, your partnerships are highlighted here. So this could potentially be just friendship. It can even sometimes talk about, uh, depending on the cards it comes out with, uh, or what we're talking about, it can talk about business partnerships. So if you are in a business relationship with someone, but overall, what we're looking at here is just a positive relationship where you're bringing out the best in each other. You feel it's reciprocal. You're caring for someone. And what I think is interesting too, because I think we're, I'm feeling like we're thinking romantic here, especially because we have divine counterpart. So let me just read this to you in full here. So this person is a divine counterpart or you are aligning with your twin flame. You are connecting spiritually or astrally with another. This is a strong coming together with a mere soul to achieve something on an energetic level. So this is really an interesting card. And I always liked the part where it talks about connecting spiritually with someone. So you could be dreaming about this person. Now, I've done a few different readings on dreams and romance and how I really feel like dreams you know, I'm me. I'm like, a, I always believe in magic and things like that. But I really feel like sometimes we can dream about someone before we've met them or you're connecting with them in some way. Um, so that could be the case. If you're single, you could be dreaming about someone. Or if you're in a relationship, I definitely feel because we've got the two here, it's likely early stages. Or if you're in a long term relationship, it could just mean reconnecting with that person, coming back together with that person. Because sometimes, even in relationships, we can be kind of distant from one another. Um, so depending on your situation, of course, will determine what, you know, what message is for you. But yeah, I really think you're, you're, you're coming together with someone. There's like a union forming. Uh, so that makes a lot of sense that we got that card. So just, there's someone being drawn to you, you to someone, um, or you're just connecting deeper with somebody. So very cool start there. Um, so six of pentacles. So I like this. This is really a card about balance. And because it's pentacles, we think about finance, finances. So sometimes this can just be as simple as you balancing out finances, but really it also talks about generosity and it depends on what side you're on. You know, sometimes we're in this situation where we can help others and sometimes we're the one that might need some help. So it depends. I mean, let's look at what else we have here. I, I'm kind of more so thinking universal assistance, to be honest with you. I think it's more so um, financial help of some kind or support. So this can come up sometimes when we're receiving a check um, of support of some kind, money, assistance, a raise, just really good advice sometimes can even show up with this card or just someone being generous with us. This card can also show up with gifts, which makes sense, of course, depending on when you're watching this. If you're watching it in December, maybe someone will give you a gift in January. Uh, like a late Christmas gift, but it boils down really to generosity and also encouraging you to help people if you can. If you're in the situation where you can help someone, you could actually make a big difference in someone's life in January, even with some guidance or advice. But I'm kind of, like I mentioned, getting more of like a universal feeling of the universe giving you a, a bit of a booster hand in January. And then uh, back to the original kind of vibe is just balancing your finances sometimes or finding finding that balance. So that's kind of cool. Then you have Ace of Wands. So let's just move your key over. Kind of a key theme today. So Ace of Wands. I love the Ace of Wands. It's one of my favorite cards because think of it as like a match, lighting that match. It's inspiration. It's passion. It's new beginnings, but usually with like a creative vibe to it. 
It comes up at times when you have a really inspiring idea or a new and exciting opportunity. So you could, you know, you could be, so just to kind of piece it together even, um, you could be given an opportunity by someone. Someone might lend a hand and give you a really exciting opportunity. But either way, Ace of Wands is just excitement. It's passion. It's that first little pop of like inspiration. I also might mention too, Ace of Wands can talk about physical attraction or physical passion towards somebody. Um, so that could connect too with what we've got here. So very interesting. Let me know what's making sense for you. As far as self-care goes, it's encouraging you to read. So whatever you like to read, you can see my books there. I don't know if I can make any recommendations. A lot of my books are either about, well, like tarot, the moon, I've got my encyclopedia of spirits, dream books. So a lot of my books are kind of, uh, I've got lots of kids books too, but a lot of my books are kind of geared towards um, what I do, but um, I've got organizational books, but that just really, it just boils down to what you're interested in. So um, if you, uh, you could get a book or a magazine or something tied to a goal that you have for 2021, but this card came up for a reason. So it might seem kind of simple, like, oh, it's encouraging me to read. Okay. But it came up for a reason. So there could be a reason why it's encouraging you to read. You could get an idea. That could be even what sparks this Ace of Wands situation. Or it could just be encouraging you to focus your energy on knowledge or learning because that could help with an opportunity too. Or it could just be saying read because it relaxes you. It just depends on, on the person. These are general readings. So just make, you know, just take what, what makes sense. But uh, yeah, maybe I could show you guys some books. But yeah, they're all kind of focused on what I do and what I'm interested in. So, okay, so we have Rabbit. So I did bring out the um, paper for this because I haven't used this particular deck in months and I love it. But Rabbit to me always represents abundance and growth, rapid growth. But let's just, um, where did I put that? Okay. Let's just take a, a read here. I really like uh, this deck and I really like her definitions, unfortunately. It, ripped here. Okay, so here we have rabbit. Okay, so fertility and caution, planning, always on guard and quick to hop away. Rabbit's cautionary nature is an important part of protection, but remember, focusing on what you fear often ends up attracting it to you. The opposite of what you want. Rabbit's lesson is to move with caution, but not to dwell on and worry about the things you fear. Fear will multiply, like rabbits, as long as you continue to run from it. Focus on the good, um, it will make your life more for fertile with joy. Okay, so a little different than what I was picking up on. That's why I like this deck because it did have some kind of different um, definitions of the cards and that just kind of help, helps me learn alternative uh, symbolisms. But okay, so we have, of course, abundance and, and growth, which it kind of did mention, but it also kind of talks about your mindset um, and the fear, like focusing on fear, focusing on our anxieties, which is easier said than done. Oftentimes when we read things like that, it's like, oh, okay, card, I'll just turn off my fears. It's not like that. Um, so what a, a good way to practice that is next time you feel yourself like worrying about the future or what ifs, those what ifs or those, you know, catastrophe thinking pops up, just think of, make a point to think of something like this. So if you think, oh, what if this happens? Oh, no oh, but what if it doesn't? What if this happens? So just kind of like make sure to make a point to recognize when you feel that way and just maybe think of something positive. Um, now, it did mention like thinking of fears will attract fears. I don't know if I necessarily believe in that because we can't help our worries sometimes. We can't help it. It's something that a lot of people are, are unfortunately, we have anxiety. Um, but I do believe that we can let it overwhelm us and sometimes we can focus on things that are more positive that might help us get us, get us out of that mindset and then focus on the positive and might help us feel more productive, more positive. So really to me, I'm going to interpret it as next time you have like a fearful thought, acknowledge it, be like, okay, but what if this does work out or what if this, you know, it doesn't, because half of the times, you know, we think about something scary and it never ends up happening or when it, if it does happen, we forget how powerful and how brave we are and how easily, you know, or how strong we are and how able or capable we are of handling things. I hope that made sense, but that's, that's my take on that. Um, and of course, just like the abundance and growth of rabbits. So could just be talking about abundance, uh, an increase in, in finances in January, um, possibly stemming from this ace of wands. Okay. 
have to cough. We guys. have self care for your butterfly message. So the butterfly cards are all about change and transformation. Something's changing in relation to self care in January. So this kind of just is something you can make a point to do. Doing things that relax you, whether that's exercise, crafting spending time with family, painting your nails, whatever. What's the first thing you think about if you were to have like a perfect day? Think about that. Treat yourself to something. Like just think of your perfect day in your head right now. And what would that mean? So make a point to do those things, that kind of thing. Okay, so then we have nothing is yet set in stone. So this is kind of cool, mutable moon. So this just kind of talks about things are, you know, nothing is for sure yet you had like i always think of this as like moldable things are still moldable things are still you're still able to change a situation that you're not happy with you can learn you can research things can still turn out better than you thought um and it's also saying like you know there's still potential for all all sorts of things to happen there's still lots of different options for you that's what i pick up on with that card last two we have We'll get to your pendulum in just a moment, but I have, uh, I am already what I want to become one day. I love this card. This is from the Manifest Prosperity and Success deck. This card, okay, well, number one, we have like the image of a plant growing, but to me, this is really all about manifestation and the idea of you have to kind of picture yourself where you want to be and really believe it. If doubt starts to creep in, be like, no, why can't I do this? Why can't like really believing that you are already where you want to be um, will help encourage you to get there. Another thing that you can do to kind of picture that in your mind is keep images like of where you want to be, what you want to accomplish on your phone. You can make a vision board. I have a video about that actually. Um, but there's all sorts of things you can do to kind of keep that picture in your mind of what you want to accomplish and believe that you're already there. Uh, it's kind of, you can close your eyes and just imagine yourself where you want to be and uh, just keep doing that and it'll help encourage you. It'll It'll help increase your confidence too. So really cool there. Last card for January, you've got not for you. So this card is interesting. So this is just letting us know, and you'll intuitively know what this is if, if of course, this reading is resonating. This just talks about you figuring out something that isn't meant for you. I think of almost like Eight of Cups with this. Something you've made a de determination that something's not meant for you. You're, you know, it could be a relationship. It could be a job. It could be... Um, you know, even just something you were holding on to, an idea or a self-doubt, something like that. Um, it can be just, you know, also, it's kind of making me think just because of the word nope there in the fortune cookie. It's making me think of being able to say, nope, no, nope, that's not for me. So being able to speak up um, for yourself as well. Very nice variation. Again, it's not really, sometimes when I do readings, it focuses on one particular subject. So it'll be heavy on love or heavy on finances for you for the month and we're going to get specific dates that are important but for you it's kind of picking up on a little bit of everything because we had the divine counterpart card and the two of cups actually look at this so surrender the habit of people pleasing maybe that's why that came up with not for you so being able to speak up for yourself and not just say yes just because you don't want to let someone down like that kind of thing um you know putting your goals first isn't selfish sometimes you have to do it for your own health because we can spend all of our energy on caring, you know, what other people think and all of that. And it can be exhausting. Um, yeah, kind of a little bit of everything. Self-care, it's encouraging you to do things that make you feel relaxed and cozy in January. Rabbit, I'm thinking abundance, growth. But it also did talk about, what did it say again? Let me just read it again, just so I can refresh my memory here. It talked about, um, oh yeah, not letting your fears take over your goals you know, not letting them stand in the way and kind of reminding yourself that yes, it can work out. Uh, and then read, so it's encouraging you to read something and there's likely a reason for that. So it came up like, sometimes it seems kind of trivial in the moment and you might be thinking, okay, read, I always read, but it could just be a clue that something you read could give you an idea. Um, you know, it could, it could improve Oh, sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Um, but yeah, it could be something you read about that gives you a really good idea. It could be something that might plant a seed of, of some kind with work. It could kind of help you solve a problem or if you're not sure about something. There's all sorts of different 
possibilities for why it's encouraging you to read but it's there for a reason and it might surprise you you could pick up a book and it could like literally be the thing that inspires a whole you know a whole different series of events unfolding so very interesting okay so let's think of a yes or no question the pendulum this is a fun little addition it's best to kind of keep it light think about career relationships something you want to know about in january Sorry guys, I'm losing my voice again. Okay, we gotta try again. So group one. Okay, you got it for sure. Okay. Let's check out your charms and the dates and stuff like that. Different important things coming up in January. I'll just make sure my pendulum safe over here okay so candle fire dangerous okay make sure that's not out of in my way here okay put the palm down the palm anything that lands in the palm is kind of the focal point of the month let's get you some dates first if you have a friend that you think might be interested in today's reading, what will happen in January, feel free to share. Okay, so January 4th, 5th, and 6th, and the 9th and the 10th. So it seems like those little blocks of a few days are important. So the things that we got in the cards could be happening those days. So for instance, you could receive assistance with the Six of Pentacles on the 4th or 5th. You could have a really awesome idea on the 9th with the Ace of Wands. You could read something really interesting on the 10th, kind of like that. Okay, let's get you some letters. And if you share this with a friend, let me know if you guys pick the same pile. That's interesting. Okay, so you've got two A's, an S, and sometimes the words spell things that are silly. Never panic about what the words spell. Sometimes it's just they'll spell things sometimes. Okay, we're looking for names and initials, typically. So we have, okay, even though we are missing an L, I see Bill. Like, Bill looks going to be with the Six of Pentacles. I'll let you, you guys are so good at the words. If you're curious what words there are, feel free to go down in the comments. Um, there's usually people that are very helpful with that. Okay, so, yeah, not, I'm seeing, hmm, yeah, I'll let you guys you know what for me the letters is like being called to read in class I kind of like get stumped and then after I'll be putting away my charms I'm like oh there's that word and there's that word I'll let you guys work on that Ooh, okay very cool okay group two look at what we have here Okay, so friendship, so partnerships, the two of cups. So you're feeling very bonded to people, even if it's not romantic for you, which I think it is. We've got a kiss here, got a little kiss here. But uh, yeah, even if it's not romantic, I just think your, your relationships are very highlighted in January. You're feeling close to people and you're feeling supported. The two of cups is also just someone having your best interest at heart too and, and offering um, their support. So very interesting. Ooh, okay, so we have the police box. So you guys really were helpful with figuring out the meanings to this. But overall, to me, the immediate thing I think of is things aren't as they appear. Very, con you know, very connected to this. Nothing is yet set in stone. Things are still changeable. You know, even if you think something is one way, something completely different can happen in a better way right? Um, if you are someone that automatically thinks things aren't going to work out, you might surprise yourself. Things could work out. And that's kind of where, uh, if you catch yourself thinking of worst case scenario, just kind of take note of it and then remind yourself that it could work out. Okay. Okay. So then you have the wagon. So the wagon is a few different things. It can talk about doing things slow, like slow and steady wins the race. You can also talk about early stages of something, which makes sense with the Ace of Wands. So you could be, you could get an idea, but it could grow into something. So I always think of the wagon and then now we have the, the car, right? And how it's changed. That could have to do with your idea. Maybe you have an idea. Maybe nothing is set in stone. It is about an idea that's really going to progress. 
you could get a really inspiring idea linked to whatever this is with the reading card and then it turns into something amazing by the end of 2021 you're like wow am I ever happy I read that or had that idea in January and trusted myself like that kind of thing so that's the focus is relationships particularly friendships a new early idea or progress, slow progress, patience, and then also kind of trusting the unknown. Put your palm aside for just one moment here and let's just move these around so you guys can see. So an idea, you've got the brain here, Scorpio. You could be a Scorpio. Someone in your life with their relationships could be a Scorpio. We have the octopus. So think of the octopus as like multitasking, very busy. That's a good indication that you'll have a lot to do in January. A lot's going to be happening. Okay, so that's good. It's good to keep busy. Believe in yourself. Oh, how perfect for exactly what we've been talking about. Believing in yourself. So don't let that doubt creep in here. You've got two keys. Okay. Um, let me just organize this. I'm going to put the kiss with the other kiss. Because you've got someone that wants to kiss you. Okay, secret and and. A little bit about travel, freedom more patience and time, a connection to your past or your childhood, your angel, more travel, chariot, travel, but also motivation, success, determination, wishing upon a star, hope, more travel, a lot about kind of uh, bonding with, with friends, having, okay, so before my mind thinks of too, too much or gets too many messages here, um, I'll start. <laughs> I'll start. Okay, so I really feel like you're bonding in particular with friends. Um, but of course, romantically, you've got kiss here. But I think there's going to be I'm picking up on a very important conversation in January, something that's really important. Um, so a conversation might seem like you might go out for lunch with someone and a conversation could lead to an opportunity. Something along those lines is coming up for me here. But either way, I see being very busy in January. You've got a lot going on, but you're feeling good about it. You, I think you're going to get some sort of answer to something that's going to boost your motivation. So a question that you have now might be answered in January, okay? So saying heads up, something's coming up. You've got the key to success here. Sorry, this is the key to success. So this is oftentimes related to our goals, okay? Whereas this key is usually an answer to a yes or no question. It's a yes. It also symbolizes having an answer in order to move forward. We don't have the lock here, so we don't necessarily know what it is we're unlocking, but we know we're going to be unlocking something. We have an answer. We have the leaf here. So the leaf is about release. It's also about transformation. Think of leaves in the fall, like releasing what you no longer need, transforming, changing. You have a connection to childhood here. That's also about comfort too. Uh, so let's just see what else you had here. So that makes sense with the messages of like uh, self-care here. So doing whatever you need to do to comfort yourself or give yourself a time out or like a relaxation day, something like that. Okay, so you have the angel. So this could be literally someone trying to connect with you. Their initials could be there. There could be a charm specifically linked to them. So I'll give you a close up. It could be someone who loved the Eiffel Tower. You got the angel wing too. So there's a strong angelic message today in your charms. So that could definitely be someone trying to message or, you know, send you a message of, of support. Oh my goodness, of support. Um, so like I said, you've got the chariot. So the chariot can talk about literal travel sometimes. It's interesting because you've got the wagon and the chariot. So that's kind of cool, but or the car. But uh, the chariot really determination, success, that personal drive, being behind your own wheel in life and kind of realizing that you're the one that's going to make your goals come true. Okay. You've got the world. Okay, so you've got travel. You've got the Eiffel Tower, which is about travel sometimes too. It's also can be specifically for someone if not can talk about perspective and vision so freedom yeah but there's kind of a a, a, a bit of a self-care or relaxation vibe going on in your charms too so along with your butterfly card because we have a lot of cards about like relaxation you've got the the two chairs here on the beach you've got the sandals so i think of a beach relaxation sometimes travel with the world there uh, the world too can also talk about completion of a cycle, so similar to the world in tarot, so the end of a cycle leading to the to a new uh, new beginning. Now, one connection that I think is really cool is you have the brain and read. So it's definitely encouraging you to learn something in January, teach yourself something, a new skill. 
there's so many different things you can learn on YouTube. You can pretty much learn anything on YouTube. Um, there's so many different tutorials and things. If it's not reading, it's definitely encouraging you to research, learn, expand your mind about something. The hot air balloon is about rising um, to a challenge. Sometimes it's also about perspective. Anything high up, I think about a clear vision or perspective. Okay, um, so let's just put your words together. You've got kiss, secret. So secret sometimes is just like it's a secret crush because you have the kiss with it. So let, kiss, is, and secret plus these letters. So let me know what you come up with. But even my energy now as I talk and as I read for you, I feel energetic. I feel very excited. So sometimes um, I, I like to just take note of how I'm feeling because I can sometimes talk about um, what's happening uh, in the reading or, or how you'll feel or the energy of the reading. I'm feeling excited, uh, like not nervous, but there's like this feeling of, yeah, I guess a little bit of nervousness, excited nervousness, I guess is the best way to summarize how I'm feeling, but that should kind of explain what this is about. So yeah, it's a nice feeling though. Um, but yeah, I'd love to know what you guys think. If this made sense, I'd love to hear it. Um, if not, this one might not have been for you. These are general. So it's either I find with these readings, it's for you or it's not. You'll know, you'll feel it. But just take what resonates. Always use your own judgment. I hope you really enjoyed it today, group two. And I hope your January is awesome. And I hope it is full of a lot of really exciting opportunities. See you next time. Hey, group three. So if you chose the third silver key, then this is your January 2021 prediction. So we'll take a look at what you have. We've got your cards here. We've got your love deck. I've got dates. We've got the charms and the pendulum. So you can think of a yes or no question. So stick around for this stuff because it's going to give you a lot of the details. But first, let's take a look at your cards. We'll get you a love card too. Your first card is Surrender to Creativity. You have Seven of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. Page of Wands. You have Butterfly as your animal energy for January. And you have Positive Affirmations. Speaking of affirmations for your prosperity and success affirmations, you have I am worthy and deserving of success and prosperity. So this is from the Manifest Prosperity and Success deck. I wanted to get you some affirmations from there okay you have the end of a tough cycle approaches from monology truth be told and be true to you so these are the two when i was shuffling that gave me shivers because you have two about truth so we'll get into that um, but i really like how these two cards focus on truth this one more so just about being true to yourself but we'll we'll explore that in just a moment let's get you a love message right away though so got be here now okay so i'll read that to you in a moment let's get you one more influencing factors so okay so we'll get to that I don't know why I felt the urge to get you two love messages. Okay, group three. Okay, let's let's dive in here. So we'll start with your surrender card. Surrender to creativity. Let your imagination soar. Stay open to all creative ideas about how to pursue a dream or solve a problem. So this card is all about just being open to creativity, creative thinking in general in January. So you can be really tapped into it. I mean, you've got the page of wands too. So I really think that's not going to be a problem. But if it is, it's just encouraging you to think creatively. I like too how it mentions to solve a problem. So if you're facing an issue right now, you, you've got a problem, you don't know the solution. It could just be letting you know that the solution's there. You're just not seeing it right now because you might not be thinking wide enough or creatively enough. So that's just one message to start you for January. So creativity could be the key to something, the key to starting a, a, a you know, progress with a, with like a dream, like it says, or possibly solving a problem that you're dealing with now. So very cool. Why don't we look at your tarot? So seven of pentacles for January. So this is one of those cards when we're really, we're assessing progress. So you can see, I love the way this illustrates illustration is because you can see you know they've planted they've planted their trees now they're they're harvesting or they're they're assessing they're they're trying to decide okay 
did I grow as much as I thought I would? Usually this is about finances or career. Um, but in general, it just feels like you're looking back and deciding whether something's working or not, okay? It can feel frustrating sometimes. And it also, I always like to remind people with this card to give yourself a pat on the back for the progress that you've already made. This, I'm not surprised to see this for January, honestly, because this is kind of what we do at the beginning of, of a year or a month is we look back and we think, okay, well, how did that work out? Like, how did 2020, did my goals come true? You know, what was in my way? What happened? So I'm not surprised to see this and I don't see this feeling lasting long. You've got a page there. You've got kind of a lot. I mean, look at the butterfly symbolism here. You've got, well, this is a butterfly deck, so... It was going to be a butterfly regardless, but you've got a butterfly here too. Butterflies symbolize change, transformation, metamorphosis. So that's really what's happening here is you're going through a change. It just might start, your January might start with a bit of evaluation of maybe the previous year or where you are now, which is good. I mean, it's, that's kind of key in setting goals and ch making a change if something's not working. So then you have Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles now, the knights are some of my favorite, and this is the one knight that we know is going to get where they're going. They might not be as quick acting as the other knights, and they might not, you know, be as, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It, it's a, it's a more practical, really is what this boils down to. And if you look at the illustration, this knight has all of the tools with them. They're prepared. They have they have what they need to move forward and they're doing it slowly. They're patient with themselves. They're they're patient with the process. They're not rushing themselves, but they have everything that they need. They think practically, they plan. So it could be encouraging you to embrace planning something. So maybe if something's not working, it could be wanting you to change something, um, maybe set out a different plan, okay? and just be patient with the process because you're going to get there. That's the key. You will get there. It just sometimes takes, you know, time and patience with yourself and just understanding that even though it might not be tomorrow, you're going to get there because you have a plan and you have all the tools. You've got the, you've got the experience, you've got the knowledge, like you have it all. Um, but maybe it's just not the right timing. So timing can definitely be a factor here as well. So then you have page of wands. So page of wands, Let's mean, I mean, this could be a few things. This could be literally as simple as you receiving an exciting message in January. That's just really good news. You could just receive really positive news. Um, if you do, come back and, and comment. Let me know if that happened. Um, but if this is more related to your goals, which I think for a lot of you it could be, this just lets you know you're on the early stages of something. You're starting something and it encourages you to be enthusiastic. And if you look at their expression, there is a bit of maybe you know, just feeling a little bit nervous or maybe you're wondering, am I prepared? Like, I feel so unprepared. Do I have what it takes? Maybe a little bit of self-doubt, but really it's all about trusting yourself and knowing. And I mean, you do, you have what it takes. We see that with the Knight of Pentacles and the experience that the Seven of Pentacles brings. You, you already have it, but just don't doubt yourself, okay? So this can talk about just the beginning of a really new, exciting, and because it's one, it's very creative uh, stage for you. So very, very cool. Okay, I just want to skip ahead to your love cards that we got because I think it's interesting. So you have be here now. To attract more love, abundance, and joy into your life, allow yourself to live more fully in the present moment. Take it easy. Enjoy the process. Find more time for fun and playfulness. Paige, reconnect and rediscover your passions in life and doing the things you love. So right there, directly connecting with that page of wands. So it's really wanting you to just embrace fun, embrace, just be in the moment. If you're not in a relationship and you're really wanting to be, just enjoy the process. It's okay that things are going slowly because, again, things could be lining up just so. Uh, let's see what's in the way that we also got influencing factors. A physical imbalance in finances or career is affecting this relationship. This could be someone focusing on growing and developing their business or career, and this may be causing a work-life imbalance. This may pertain to your relationship being influenced and affected emotionally because of relig religious or spiritual factors. So I'm more so picking up on, honestly, I'm going to interpret that a little differently because I'm thinking it's actually you. So what was interesting is group one and two, it was kind of all over the place, the messages. We had a little bit about love, a little bit about career, kind of a little bit of everything. I'm sensing and feeling like for you, group three, this is very heavily focused on your own goals, changes you are making. This is all about you. I don't really even see anyone else romantically in in this reading at all i'm not picking up on it at all 
Um, it doesn't mean you're not in a relationship. It doesn't mean if you are that you're going to break up. It just means your focus in January is you and your goals. And it's okay to put that first, especially starting out the year. I think you just want to start out in a really good place so that you can make those goals or complete those things that you wanted to get done in 2020. So nothing wrong with that, but I'm definitely not sensing a romantic vibe. And especially now that we've got those two. Okay. Um, let's, let's move to these because I thought it was really cool. So Truth be told, be true to you. So this one, if we just look at the image, we've got the mask, we've got the owl here with the window. I like the hearts, which would represent maybe being open with your emotions, being honest, could be romantic, maybe being honest with a partner. But overall, I'm kind of sensing that this is just about being honest with yourself about what you need to do. So this could even be connecting to work. So maybe... Okay, I'm, I'm wondering if maybe there's something that you're doing that you know isn't working, okay? Okay, so this could be something like self-sabotage. Are you self-sabotaging yourself? Is there a habit that you're doing that's kind of blocking you or, or you're getting to the same point and feeling frustrated that you're not farther along? So that will be very individual and personal for each of you. Let me know if that makes sense. Okay, so for monology, you have the end of a tough cycle approaches, full moon in Capricorn. I love this card. It's honestly one of my favorite cards in this deck, the Moonology deck, because when I, whenever I get this card for me, I always have like a nice little sigh of relief because it just lets you know that if you're going through a challenging time, a confusing time, the end is near. Like you're, you're, you're going to get through it and things will improve. That's what this card's about. So you're going to see the full picture very soon. Okay. It's a very positive card there. So it's just letting you know, keep pushing. And if it's talking about career for instance a lot of people in 2020 were laid off they couldn't work some people lost their jobs so this could be very promising for career especially because we have the knight of pentacles there too very cool um for your money uh, affirmation you have i am worthy and deserving of success and prosperity so i think that's crucial is like reminding yourself that you do deserve for your dreams to come true it doesn't always have to be other people you know uh sometimes we look and watch other people achieve their goals and dreams and we think okay that, I couldn't do that but don't do that like you you totally are worthy of having your dreams come true sometimes they look a little different than than we might have thought but we look back and we're actually happy with the way things turned out just remind yourself you're worthy and deserving of success and prosperity now what I think is cool so for your this is the self-care deck so there's lots of different methods of self-care but you got positive affirmations so if you look here it says i love myself worthy grateful brave beautiful i choose love healthy happy so this is this card is all about how, what are you saying to yourself how do you talk to yourself that's key are you talking down to yourself are you doubting yourself you know it's just what are you saying to yourself that's going to be crucial in january so you it'll affect your it'll affect everything it'll affect your confidence so if you're doing something like a vision board make sure to put a bunch of positive things on there positive sayings remind yourself that you love yourself give yourself a pat on the back be proud of yourself for the progress you've made so far now butterfly now i brought out the paper for this but honestly i'm just heavily getting butter butterfly uh messages of transformation and change new beginnings but also again patience right because the butterfly is is they're in their cocoon and then they emerge and so butterfly imagery is very strong for you okay group three so that could be a good clue like maybe you're very drawn to butterflies i love butterflies i have about seven butterflies tattooed on my body um and and they mean change they mean they mean you know transformation wouldn't be surprised if you're a Scorpio, if you love that transformation energy. Um, so let's do your pendulum. Let's see what's happening. You can think of a yes or no question. And it's best to keep it light with the pendulum, you know, keep it fun. It can be about career or love. So let's ask. So group three. Okay, you got a yes right away. That was pretty quick. So you have a yes there. Okay, so hopefully that clarifies something for you. So let's, let's take a look here. We'll do numbers because that's going to give us significant dates. And anything that lands in the palm, it's kind of the focal point of the month. Okay, so you've got a lot of dates. So you've got January 3rd is emphasized, okay? January 8th. 
January. Oh, interesting. Okay, I want to go get something because the 33 jumped out at me. One okay, moment. so I wanted to go get this card because I tend to memorize cards and their, and their numbers sometimes. Um, just, just purely from frequent use. But 33, so blossoming. So as soon as that we shuffled out that 33, I thought of this card because it makes sense with with your reading, blossoming, like emerging, growing, changing. It reminds me of the butterfly energy. When I first saw that 33, I remembered this card having butterflies, but it might have been the flowers. But either way, there's also a musical element to this. So I love the messaging of, of blossoming for you. So that seems to be a kind of a theme of your reading. And that's why when I saw that 33, I was like, yes, oh my gosh, the uh, Queen of the Moon Oracle, number 33. So very cool. But we'll continue. So 33 is important. I, I'm really feeling that. Oh, eight too. Wow. Okay, so three and eight. Um, but yeah, so that could be January 3rd, January 8th, especially highlighted January 1st, perfect for New Year's resolutions, and January 10th. So very cool. Possibly some dates connected to the cards that you got. We've got the, the letters and you guys are so good at finding words. So if you're curious what words there are, you can go down into the comments. Some words are just silly though. Like sometimes we get words that might not have anything to do with, with it. So have fun with it. But uh, well, oftentimes they're initials. We've got I, O, another I, X, Z, L, E, A, D, G, and C. Yeah, I'll let you guys do it because if I start trying to find words, I end up staring at it forever. So I'll let you guys do oh, Liz. I see my name. Okay, let you guys work on that. Okay, very cool, group three. Let's take a look. So raise this up so you can take a quick peek here so similar to your the card I just showed you there's definitely a musical element for you you've got song here you've got the violin it's a bit of music you've got lots about friendship too you've got friend charm so let's just put your words here so you've got make I make that makes sense with your creativity messages got fluff from my pillow on my sleeve so I make so that to me connects with your surrender card about surrendering to creativity I make that's kind of cool so you've got song beauty friend and kiss okay so a little bit of romance you know could lead something could lead to romance you've got xo here too so kiss a little bit of kiss there so even though like I mentioned I wasn't picking up on romantic these are general so there could be something Okay, so in the palm, you have Cinderella's carriage. Okay, that's kind of cool. Because that just makes me think of, of course, timing. But I also get this feeling like, do you feel like your time is running out? Because Cinderella, right? She she only has till midnight. She has to make all of her dreams come true in the span of a few hours. Um, and then she finds out later that's not the case. She had a lot more time. So is timing stressing you out? You know, you feel like there's this time limit. You feel like the, the, the clock's going to strike midnight and your opportunity is going to be over like that because it's not the case. Okay, that's what it's saying. Like, and I'm kind of getting this feeling of like things aren't as they appear. You know, something something different is at play here. You've got the star, which is also, you got that page of it, page energy, page of wands. I'm thinking of like inspiration. But like I mentioned earlier, there's a bit of fear or maybe self-doubt. You've got the alien, which represents our fears, fear of the unknown, basically. Um, so back to the palm, you've got the soccer ball. The soccer ball is teamwork. It's 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 working together with people, and it's also like focused on your goals, right? We think goal soccer, so focusing on your goals. You know, and not and similar to the seven of pentacles. Not every you're not going to hit every single goal, but eventually you will. You just got to stay persistent, keep practicing, keep working. You got the lucky charm for January. This is one of my favorite charms because it's just pure luck. It's like nine of cups, star energy. And you've also got the star here too. So cool, you've got heads up. So it's telling you to keep your heads up about something. Maybe a solution. Hmm. Okay.
There is a heavy friendship theme here. You've got, this is about like having fun, making time for fun with friends. This is about support, finding support from others. So kind of a bit of a Three of Pentacles vibe here too, because you've got the, you've got the soccer ball. You've got this one about support. You also have the friend charm. We've got Ace of Wands here. This is also night energy as well. So it could just be confirming your Knight of Pentacles. I always think of the Knight of Wands with this particular one or Knight of Cups because it's a shell. A Knight of Cups would make sense too though, following your heart, being being true to you, following your dreams with the truth be told. So we're getting lots of connections. This is my favorite part of reading, right? Is making connections with cards and charms. And I put everything together like a puzzle. So this is a fun part. Um, so then you have the key. So key to success. I always think of that key as having the answer, but the thing is we don't have the lock. We don't have the lock here that goes with it. So you might not know what the next door is, the next opening or opportunity is, but it's just saying you have everything that you need already. You've got the key. You've got the answer already. It's within you. Connecting again with that Knight of Pentacles. You have all the tools. They're right there. You have it. So all this time you're beating yourself up about timing and, and all of that, you're doing just fine. Like you, you really are. Give yourself time. Be patient with yourself. Allow yourself to blossom. Like, you know what I mean? With the blossoming card that I brought out because of that 33. And it's kind of making me think of like, you plant a seed, right? You plant an idea. You're not going to keep going. I, I heard this somewhere. I wish I remember the reference, but um, you're not going to keep going to dig up the seed to check if it's growing. You just got to leave it. You got to plant the seed and then leave it. You know, that's the key here. Um, so very cool. Okay, so we've got heads up. Okay, then you have um, the teardrops. The crystal teardrop is, I always think of it as like strength, challenging, bringing strength because it's a teardrop, it's crystal, it's beautiful. So I always think of, of you know, strength being built through challenges. It can also indicate tears of joy as someone mentioned in the comments. I love when you guys give me um, your interpretations of charms because a lot of times it makes sense for me too. Okay. Okay, so the star, hope, inspiration, you've got the shell. I think the shell too is like, makes sense with the be true to you as well. It's like holding, holding on to what you care about tight, your secrets, your dreams. Very cool. So overall, I guess to summarize group three, we have a lot about patience. And then just like with the blossoming card, allow yourself to blossom. You know, be patient with that, with that process. A lot about patience here. <laughs> and then also, well, actually, yeah. So be here now, being in the moment, enjoying the moment, whether that's to do with career, relationship. If you haven't met anyone yet, don't worry, you will. Other things seem to be at the focus right now though. Positive affirmations, how do you talk to yourself? The end of a tough cycle approaches, one of my favorites. Butterfly, surrender to creativity. I love this and I love how it's set. Oh my gosh, guys, butterfly again. Okay, I just got chills. I just got chills. <laughs> okay, that's cool. So remember though, how do you talk to yourself? Also, creativity could solve a problem in January. So that could be a big clue. We might think right now, okay, that seems kind of vague, but you'll know when it happens, you'll know. And that's why these readings are cool because they're not going to resonate for everyone, but you'll find if they resonate for you, they make a lot of sense and they're fun to come back to and kind of see what happens. So very cool group three. I hope it resonated. I hope your January is amazing. You deserve it. I hope 2021 brings all your dreams and I hope that 20 the start in January is awesome and it starts out, you know, on a good foot. We'll see you very soon. And thanks so much for watching.